This video is only for those people who have taken Sputnik vaccine in India. If you have taken Sputnik vaccine, should you take a booster? Not a medical advice, talk to your doctor, but the short answer is yes. Which one? Sputnik light or the first dose of Sputnik adenovirus 26 is the current answer. Let's just quickly see the theory behind it. Adenovirus vaccines use adenovirus as a vehicle or a vector to send the COVID proteins into your body. There are four such vaccines, Johnson & Johnson, CanSino Bio, Covishield, and Sputnik. The problem with a vector or adenovirus vaccine is the body makes antibodies both against COVID and against the vehicle in which the vaccine was sent. That's why the second dose could have reduced efficacy. No such problem existed for Johnson & Johnson, which was a single dose vaccine, adenovirus 26, Johnson & Johnson. CanSino Bio, China's was adenovirus 5, single dose vaccine. Covishield had the same vehicle for both the doses, but the problem of reduced efficacy was solved by increasing the duration between the two doses. By the time the second dose was given in 12 weeks, the antibodies against the vector or the vehicle had reduced by them. Russia Sputnik brilliantly solved this problem by using two different adenoviruses. AD26, Johnson & Johnson was the first dose. AD5, CanSino Bio was the second dose. Regarding the booster, if you take an adenovirus booster to an adenovirus vaccine, theoretically, the efficacy could be less. But a lot of time has passed. When United States Israel started giving boosters in September and October, India's committee thought for September, October, November, December, January, almost five months. In January, when Omicron cases were going up, they said, yeah, you can take the booster, calling it a precaution dose. Because imagine James Bond, is he going to, my name is Bond, I'm going for a precaution dose? Booster, sounds nice, forget that. At that time, India's committee totally ignored Indian people who had taken Sputnik. I don't know why, they just, they just passed them by. So there was no guidance for Indians who had taken the Sputnik vaccine till Jan, Feb, March, April, May. After five months, they said Sputnik light or Sputnik vaccine's first dose, adenovirus 26, will be okay. You can talk to your doctor if you are situated anywhere in the world but India. You can literally take any other vaccine. You can take Johnson & Johnson, you can take uh, Pfizer, you can take Moderna. There were some studies going on for combining Sputnik and Covishield, but those have not been effectively reported yet. My idea is India missed a big chance on this. Covaxin is a all-rounder player. It may not be the best batsman, it may not be the best bowler, it may not be the best fielder, but it does all the three things moderately well. It is a whole virion vaccine, so it should work more robustly against the mutation. Covaxin could have been the best booster for the entire world, for people who have taken two doses of Pfizer, Moderna, Covishield, Sputnik, whatever. India could have sold billions of doses to Covaxin to the entire world, but that was not to be. So currently, my thinking is, if you have taken two doses of Sputnik, technically Covax, Covishield is also okay. There were some studies not reported yet. Sputnik light is officially advised. mRNAs are okay, but they are not available in India. I think Covaxin might also work as a booster but cannot give as a medical advice because there is no such studies. And only country that can study Covaxin as a booster is India. But I think we missed the chance. This is a novel pandemic and India has done superb job about vaccination, just too good. But at times, the behavior of this committee, which, you know, very cautious, they always keep saying it's better to be safe than sorry. Most such people, Neither keep you safe and make you sorry, Dr. Ravi Gorsay.